Okay, YouTube. It's a while ago, I made a video of me taking taking apart a bike and putting it on a new frame. Well, today I'll be stripping this bike. It's a girl's bike I found in the garbage. First, I'm gonna start off with the back frame, but uh, that's usually a 15 or 5 eighths. So let's get started. Now there's two kinds of back rims. There's this kind of back rim that has the built-in back brake. Or there's the free spin rim. That, uh, let's see, I think I have one over here. That goes all the way around. So, this one has the back brake, built-in back brake. So what you wanna do is I'm gonna put a, the wrench on here. Hopefully it comes off. This one's very rusty, so I'm gonna have to get a pair of vice grips on there. Okay, hey, once you loosen the bolts, then it's time to take off this uh, belt in back brake. What you're going to need is a star or flat screwdriver. And I, I use an adjustable wrench. Okay. So what you want to do is you're going to want to use a star or flat. What you want to do is put the star flat here and turn. I'm gonna have to set you down real quick so I can do this, but I'll try to keep it in the, the light. Sometimes you won't need it. Sometimes they both come off at the same time like this. Okay, so once you get the screw off, there's a bolt. You wanna keep these nut and bolts. And this thing piece comes right off right here. Now, it's important that you want to keep this together in case you want to use the back rim on another one. Which I dropped this to bolt right now, but I'll I'll look for it in a little bit. So once you do that, you pull it forward, you uh pop the chain off like so. And there's your back rim off. Okay. Go to the front rim. Sometimes it's either a 14 or 13, depending on if it's stripped or not. I don't have either one of those wrenches, so I'm just gonna use this adjustable right here. So sometimes these will be very rusty, so you may want to use some WD-40. <coughs> okay. That one was easy. Let's let's get this other one real quick. Oops, hit the camera. Like so. Sometimes they have these little quick things right here on the on the fork to hold the uh, tire and put rim in place. I take one off to show you what it looks like. These little things are just clip in here, like so. And there's the front rim. So, now we're going to move on to the crank. First thing you want to do is pop the pedal off. Again, it's either a fifth, it's a five eight. I'd rather do this with one hand than I feel like. So, see if I can get this done. Okay, I'm gonna have to set the camera down to do this. I'll just try to keep it in the frame. Okay, so what you wanna do is uh, hold this. Hold the See, we got the 
Put one arm off right there. Okay, we just turn it. Like so. Now it's time for this bolt right here. So let me just uh, go get my vice grips real quick. Gonna have to adjust them. Okay, we can turn them on there. Gonna have to. It's better if you have an adjustable wrench that fixes this, but the vice grips works just as well. Just gotta find the right angle, which is hard to do when you're trying to do it with one hand, like I'm trying to do. Okay, now sometimes the pedal is gonna move, so what I do is I take a screw, flat screwdriver and just wedge it in right there. Right there, get that out of there. Let me just screw this off real quick. Now it's gonna come with a. When it comes out, it's gonna come with a bolt or a nut, a little washer. Next, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have to take this piece off. This piece right here. Now, sometimes it'll come off. Sometimes you have best thing to use is a flat screwdriver. Sometimes you have to use a hammer to bang it off, but sometimes it just comes off easy, like this one is. But I've had a lot that came off very hard. I do everything somewhat live, like I don't do retakes or nothing. So there's the bolt. Now you see that's a piece. Now you, you see the washer in there? It's not really a wash, it's more like a, how would you say? Uh, what's the best word for this? Uh, what, I know I, it's not a washer, it's a, what do you call this? I forgot, um, I don't remember what I call this. I'm drawing a blank real quick, so I, I'll get back to that with the name of that once I think of it. Okay, so then what you want to do is just jiggle this one right here, and that just comes right out like that. There's, there's the crank, and then there's the whole arm right there. Okay, I remember the name now. It's called a bearing. Let me just show it to you real quick. This is called a bearing. Get it right there in the light. Okay, so next we're going to flip it over and uh, take off the handlebars. So, just put the camera down real quick while I flip it. Okay, so I'm going to grab this camera real quick. Okay. Now this is uh, what, a cheaper bike. So it's just a nut and bolt. So add the handlebars. Let me grab, grab this other pair of handlebars and show you. Now add the handlebars are like this one. Similar to a bolt. But instead of having this bolt neck right here, it has alley keys. As you can see. So let's get to work. Okay, again, you can use a pair of ice grips. Or you can use it like I like to use the adjustable. So I'll just uh, make that on there real quick. Let's just loosen it. 